everybody. It's Ace. And Mecca. I don't know why I said it backwards. That's we're, weird. <laughs> we're drawing Siren Head, as promised. And Siren Head's getting ready for Halloween. He's dressing up. What's he dressing up as? A magical girl. Is he beautiful? Yes. <laughs> Is he fabulous? Quite so. <laughs> yeah, we thought it'd be a uh, fun little mix-up. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just... I don't know, it was fucking funny. <laughs> it, was, it was a great time. Uh, what was, so you, you don't know about Siren Head, right? Ace, or have you done much more research? Since I have not done much research about Siren Head. Like, this is new. This is new thing. This is all new. Yeah. He's, he's a fun one. He's, the thing is that he's made by this artist who is just making all these things. Let me see. Who made Siren Head? You see, it's so cool. And Mark Plyer's done playthroughs of him. Uh, Pipehead is a hostile cryptid and urban legend created by the artist. Trevor Hendon- Henderson. If somehow you missed stuff, look up Trevor Hend- Henderson. He's also done a cartoon cat, um, long neck horse. It's <laughs> he's kind of like everything I want to be, if we're being honest. Um, but yeah, we wanted to make because Ace likes anime stuff. I like funny, crazy stuff. So a magical girl seemed like a fun series of things to do with monsters. Uh, if people like this, I'd love to make a poster and take it like a hot con stuff, but. Oh, it's, it's great. <laughs> it's just a fun, fun time. Uh, but yeah, Siren Head, his whole thing is that he's kind of like a Slenderman. He, he sits out in the forest, he makes his loud siren noise, and captures you, and you aren't normally seen again. I think there's a Markiplier, that's, there's a few Markiplier Siren Heads, too. So, that'd be a good place for you to start, probably. Yeah. So, he's just fun. Uh, what what do you think about the creative process we did for this one, Ace? Um, for, me, I mean, for me, the sketching and line work, I wanted to to get that looking up at something perspective. Um, like, if it weren't for all the crazy colors, this should be spooky. Yeah. Um, but so that was what I really focused I didn't want to do, like, just pure perspective. But I still like to think I got some of that uh, size and angle going. Yeah. But for me, just seeing something cooler contrast with, like, the bright colors mm-hmm. is just very amusing to me. Oh, yeah. I, I think the biggest thing was, like, that, that ugly brown base that yeah. we started with uh, before you got your hands on it with all your happy, bright pastels and everything. I think that's really what makes this work. <laughs> and <laughs> the teeth getting just flashed in there after all your little teeth go <laughs> work. Um, yeah. I'm gonna try to, like, make it, like, rotted. Yes. I, I, again, this is a monster. So we were talking about this a couple of drawcasts ago. Do we make them all really pretty, sexy, kawaii, or are we going to let it be just this monster with clothes on it, basically? Yeah. And, like, the xenomorph, I think that lended itself to being that, you know, really pin up attractive form. Mm-hmm. Where, but Siren Head... Like Siren Head just comedically getting a skirt slapped on him. Yeah. That that was was peak. And I mean, and I tried to like dirty it up, but you said that well, well, it didn't look how I wanted it to be. I, yeah, I think the the, the streaks were. I, I like the idea of it being muddied. Maybe if it was something that was like from the bottom up, like the boots were dirty, and then maybe like yeah. the top was cleaner. It's just, like, the flat, dry brush strokes. Like, the, if you did something more like how you... I love how, watching those trees come to life that you did. Um, the way that you blended all that in. If that's how you did the mud, I think it could have been saved. But yeah. for this, I mean, this looks like... <laughs> <laughs> this is his perfect transformation. Again, it's it's so awkward in all the best ways. I mean, it, it does look like he just spun out... And someone remind him, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta strike a pose, dude. You gotta strike a pose. I was trying to see if I added like the glitter to the boots and the. I think you did. I know. I know that there's a layer called glitter. I know it's on the chest piece. We're, this is the fun thing is we we record this drawing a little bit ago, so we're kind of like rediscovering what all. Oh, we there did. it is. <laughs> there's the highlights. We hey, the glitter, <laughs> mother flipper. Um, yeah. So that's Siren Head as a magic girl getting ready for Halloween. Hope you like it. 
uh, we're going to sign off and record a commentary for a pyramid head mecca. Yeah, that's so, going to be great. Yeah, hope you guys had fun. Uh, comment any questions about the process or suggestions for other monsters or characters you want to see dressed up for Halloween. And uh, Until then, yeah. stay safe and stay weird, my friends. Boy. Bye. Bye.